Kelly friends, look at this ginormous box. I don't think you appreciate how big it is. Here's my puppy who's a, a Shih Tzu Poodle mix. And this is the box. The box is like three or four of her. <laughs> and no, it's not a reborn doll this time. It is some kits. Now, some of these kits, um, I got these from a seller on eBay. And I have never even seen them before. And... I actually tried to look them up and I couldn't even find them. Um, like I just couldn't even find them. So I'm putting this on today on my Facebook page, hoping that maybe someone has seen these kits and know what they are. Um, or if you see one of these kits and you would like it as a custom, you can contact me about that as well. Now I want to apologize. It's an extremely gloomy day outside. Um, and so even though it's, you know, three 30 in the afternoon, I have to look at my watch there. Um, it's, there's just not a lot of natural light coming in. So let me just, see. So here's my hand. <laughs> you get a sense of how big this box is. <clears throat> so it looks like, she, looks like she packed it really, really well. So let's start right here. So this is Rowan. Rowan's one of my, my favorite kits. I love this face on this kit. She's such a beautiful kit. She makes a really great AA baby. She is, if you use my hand as reference, she's a bigger doll. She's going to make a doll that's more a three to six month. And like I said, if you're really interested in a um, an African-American baby, she makes a beautiful African-American baby or a multiracial baby so that is one i know that is a bountiful baby kit <clears throat> see if i can grab this one this one has a some of these are sold out limited editions which is pretty cool of course i'm doing this one handed which is not good so this is an andrea arcello madison Number 758 of 1,000. I really love um, Andrea Arcello. I painted Eloisa um, uh, for the Rose Doll Show, and she's actually on Reborns.com right now. Um, and she's a little um, newborn size, like a, 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 doll, a, a doll that sucks its thumb, which is really neat. And I made him to look like my little brother. <laughs> So, and I called him Jamie. So this is Madison. I like that little furrowed brow. But yeah, Andrea Arcello's, um, her heads, the whatever vinyl she chooses, they are like rock hard. <laughs> they are really, really hard to root. But that's a really cute little face, a really interesting little face, I think. Let's look at some hands. Oh, I really like those hands. Looks like full limbs. So yeah, that is a sold out limited edition. I was able to find him or her. I don't know if you'd say Madison is a boy's name or a girl's name. I'm just putting him over here by my puppy for her to. <clears throat> Let's, for her to guard. Let's look at this one. Okay, now this is one, and she's got it marked as Lotus. This is one I could not find. Um, and so if anybody can help with that, and of course, <laughs> it's taped with electrical tape, and I'm trying to do this one-handed. I'm so sorry. Like, <laughs> all right. We're gonna go. We're not gonna go like that. We're just gonna lay it there for a second. Oh my gosh! I can't even. So, if anybody has ever heard of this kit, please let me know who sculpted it. Lotus. So it looks like an Asian kit. Very Asian looking, and the name is sort of Asian looking. Feet. Looks like three quarter limbs. 
and looks like probably um, a newborn or three month size. I don't know, but if anybody can steer me in the right direction, you can tell I always feel ahead. Okay, that one's squishy. So that could be, could be rooted. I've never done an Asian skin tone before. So that would be kind of exciting, I think. Uh-oh. There's something going on there. Oh, okay. It's coming off. Phew. <laughs> I got these um, kits for a really good deal, and I know you're probably going to say, wait, didn't you say in another video that one of your New Year's resolutions was to not buy any more kits? It sure was. <laughs> but I actually bid on this. Um, there are eight kits here. And I bid $400 and I thought that's $50 a kit that there's no way I'm going to win this auction. So I bid and I totally didn't even follow it or anything. And then I got, Oh, you won the auction. And I'm like, I did how? <laughs> so let's see. Whoa, this is a big one. Who is this? I've got kind of some limbs that are all over the place. So I don't know if you guys can help me with this. Is this Tibby? Maybe. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. So, you know, but at $50 a kit, you know, this isn't horrible. This is an area that can be um, wigged. I'm probably not going to ever root a head this big. Um, but I think, is that Tibby? I had a Tibby once. And we have some arms. Yeah, I think it's Tibby. Oh, oh, dear. Well, <clears throat> you know, I, I might be able to do something with it. Yeah, I think we've got a Tibby standing is what we've got here in pieces. Um, and yeah, here's another, here's another leg. Yeah, so that would be an interesting one to do. Tibby's a really, really big baby. <laughs> she was like the first of the really, really big babies before before Joseph, real born Joseph. Okay. Who is this? Oh, okay. Hang on. I don't want to show this person's address. Okay. So it looks like she purchased this from somebody. So this is like, she purchased it second hand and then I'm getting it third hand. This is um, Jessie by Donna Rupert. I have painted Jessie before. Jessie's a bountiful baby kit. Again, a bigger, bigger size kit. She's like a 22, 23 inch baby. Oh, are you slacking on the job there, pet? Look at that. She's just laying there with all the kits around her. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay. Let's do this one. Sorry. Horrible camera. Okay, this is M Mei Ling. And I... Okay. So there was a couple of kits named Mei Ling. And this is, this is the one that I thought. This is Ping Lao, I believe. And this is definitely an Asian baby. And a big Asian baby. Big girl. <clears throat> and my dog's like, what? Did you say good girl? <laughs> no, I said big girl. And so probably these bent limbs are her limbs. Okay, yeah. And there, oh no, Taylor. Okay, now I'm getting all confused. Getting so confused, people. Okay, let's open this one. We don't have a name on this one. So let's see if we can figure it out, people. Oh, no clue. Anybody got a clue? Let's feel the head. Hard on the side, soft on the top. Oh, wait a minute. Ming... Ming? I don't know. I have never heard of a kid named Ming. It does, he does look a little bit Asian. So these are some unusual kits, guys. <laughs> They're really unusual kits. 
that I've gotten myself into. <laughs> All right, let's look at this one. Oh, now this is actually why I, I'm going to come over here. This is actually, is this any better light over here? This is actually the reason why I purchased this whole box is I saw this face and I was like, that is the coolest face I have ever seen. Sorry about putting my thumb over the lens. Just, I love interesting faces. He's a very, very, very tiny one. So this is probably a newborn kit. I'm assuming, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, this is Alexa, 177 of 400, Joanna Kazmiriak. So that is quite, that's a sold out limited edition kit and quite an unusual one, very, very low edition number. She's got straight legs. Well, one straight leg. and looks like one bent leg. Very pale vinyl, which is nice. So she has legs kind of like um, Realborn Ashley. Oh, that is a beautiful little hand. Look at that. I really like that hand. Uh oh, there's something. There's something on it. But <clears throat> that happens when you get kit secondhand. And that's a really pretty hand. So, yeah, she reminds me a lot of Ashley. Um, about the same size, too. So this one I'm really, really looking forward to reborning. Like I said, the other ones, it was just like, well, if I'm only, only paying 50 bucks, it's not that big a deal. Um, <clears throat> but, the, but this is one that I'm like, wow, this is really, really gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous expression. Okay. Sorry, here I am doing this again. Trying to switch switch hands. So move Alexa over there. So Alexa is the one that made this all worth it. Let's look at this one. This is Julian. Let's see. Put you guys down there for a second. Julian. Marked as Julian. And this, this kit has been squashed a little bit, but that's okay. This is easy to, to fix. You just put it in a, in a, in a hot oven. And then, um, when you take it out of the oven, you just kind of squeeze it back into shape and hold it there and cool it off at the same time. So again, a very unusual little face. Um, let's see if this Julian Offered by Little Dream Collection, created by Rwanda. Do not know of this. This sculptor. So there's all this information about her. Maybe with this um, additional information, I don't know if he's a limited edition. Doesn't say anything about a limited edition, but my experience has been that most dolls that are not limited editions don't come with all that kind of information. Look at that beautiful hand. That is a beautiful hand. He looks like a, maybe a preemie size. So again, you know, if you're interested in any of these kits as a custom, these are some really unique customs. Like if you're the kind of person that you don't want to have like the doll that everybody else has, that everybody else has. Oh dear. Look at that. Oh, no, that might not be salvageable. That looks like it's been burned. So this little guy might end up having to be like an AA baby <laughs> with a dark skin tone. But anyway, what I was saying is if you're the kind of collector that you're like, you know, I really like unique sculpts with unique faces. I don't want to have the same sculpts that everybody has. Um, yeah, he would make a good, really good... Uh, a, a baby, um, then, you know, these are the kits for you. Your ship has come in. <clears throat> okay. Let's put these back in there. So at least I have a sculptor name now and I can go and maybe look it up, but that's a sculptor I've never heard of before. So I'm just wondering if it's, um, 
like a, a, um, a one and done, you know, like she did one sculpt and then, yeah, that was it. She's done. All right. And I still, I need to figure out who that limb belongs to. And I believe this is the mailing, um, lim limbs or wait, I'm wondering now. Is it possible? So, Tibby comes with two different limb sets. No, it says Taylor. Well, anyway, it could this be Taylor instead of Tibby? Because they look like the same color vinyl. Have you guys heard of Taylor? Have any of you heard of Taylor? Like... And it's, and it's a huge baby. So I'm wondering if there's a couple different limb sets because Tibby has two different limb sets. She has a straight leg and a bent leg version. And that's what this looks like to me. But I don't know. I don't know. And the crazy thing is I have been in the reborn doll business and I've been a collector for almost 10 years. And so I know some of the weird older sculpts um, better than most people. And I still don't know who some of these are. So yeah, that's it. Um, if anybody can shed some light on some of these sculpts and, um, some more information, if they are, you know, are they bountiful baby? Are they, um, limited is like Julian here? Is he limited edition? Um, anything, you know, please um, leave a message in the comments or you can message me on Facebook. Um, yeah, and if you're interested in some really unusual faces, if you're looking for some really big toddler dolls um, like Taylor Tibby here, um, or if you're just interested in a doll that's got a really beautiful and unique face that no one else is going to have, um, yeah, just leave a message in the comments or, um, contact me on Facebook. I am near and far reborn doll nursery on Facebook. Um, yeah. So have a great day guys. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.